Hi guys and welcome to today's list as we count down the top 5 mistakes families make in Epcot. In the past, families with small children have been known to leave Epcot out of their Walt Disney World adventure due to fears that the park is more for adults than it is for kids. This is a common misconception of Epcot and does not fall in line with the fact that all Disney parks are created for people of all ages. That being said, Epcot is definitely a different type of park than the other Walt Disney World parks and it has been quoted in the past as being a good mixture of entertainment and education or, as many others like to call it, edutainment. Epcot gives you and your family an opportunity to discover a blend of different cultures and technology in only a way that the Disney park can. However, in order to make sure you make the most out of Epcot when visiting with a young family, we have highlighted some things below which you should really take into account. Number five, buying merchandise that you won't use again. Now, before we go any further with this one, let us be clear that we are not suggesting that you do not buy any merch at all, but more so that you do not end up spending all your hard earned cash on merch which will inevitably never be used again once you leave the park. Epcot offers a huge variety of things you can buy. With 11 different countries represented in World Showcase, each selling mugs, shirts and a whole host of different items, along with the other available Disney merch from the park's main gift shops, you can quickly fall into the trap of overspending on things you really don't need. Our advice would be to stay away from the big sombreros and stick to things like mugs, clothing or accessories that you know you can use again even after you leave the park. Going to Walt Disney World is not cheap, especially when you have a family with you. Souvenirs are great, but in order to be as economical as possible, ask yourself before making a purchase, will I or my family ever use this again once the day ends? Number four, missing out on meet and greets. How do people know you visited Walt Disney World? From the pictures you post on social media with all your favorite Disney characters, of course, there is a common thought won't be able to meet your favourite Disney characters at Epcot due to the fact that the park is themed differently to your more traditional Disney parks. We are here to debunk that misconception and make sure you don't miss out on meeting your favourite characters in their most exotic and unique locations. Make sure when you visit Epcot you don't miss out on meeting Donald Duck in Mexico or Snow White in Germany, all dressed in traditional attire from specific countries. Probably the most popular meet and greet that you can do in Epcot is with Anna and Elsa from Frozen. Epcot is the only park which features a Frozen attraction and its two favourite characters can be found regularly wandering around in a region pavilion, meeting fans and taking pictures. Number 3. Not experiencing Living with the Land For anyone who has never heard of this unique Disney attraction, Living with the Land is a gentle boat journey which takes you through a history of farming and agriculture giving you a behind the scenes look at Disney greenhouses and fish farms. The ride lasts about 15 minutes and is suitable for all ages. And when we say suitable for all ages, we don't just mean that everyone can ride it, but everyone will also find the experience interesting and enjoyable. The ride is totally air conditioned from start to finish, which is great for allowing you to escape the hot Florida sun and giving you and your family a chance to cool down. One of the best things about the whole experience is that all the produce which comes out of the greenhouses and fish farms is actually served in an array of Walt Disney World restaurants. It is truly inspiring to see how one of the biggest organizations in the world are dedicated to building a sustainable food source and is a great lesson for all kids who visit the attraction. Number two, not preparing for how big the park actually is. To put it simply, Epcot is a really big park. You're likely to walk around 15 to 20 kilometers per day the World Showcase in itself is about 1.2 kilometers long and with a lot of doubling back and the retracing of steps, this can lead to a busy day of walking. We recommend that if you have small children, you make sure that you have their strollers on hand. The amount of walking that can be involved with visiting Epcot can be tough for your average adult, but can be too much for your average child. If you think that this amount of walking is too much for one day, then it could be an idea to plan not just one, but two days in the park. This will allow you to break up the amount of ground you need to cover and also take your time as you explore the different areas Epcot has to offer. All in all, we would say, make sure you wear comfortable shoes and drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. Remember, you can get a free cup of water from any of the counter food restaurants. So make sure you avail of this instead of spending all your money on expensive drinks. 
Number one, not planning fast passes in advance. Like any other successful Disney theme park experience, fast passes are key. Fast passes allow you to book an attraction in advance for a specific time, which means you can turn up to the attraction and not be required to wait in the regular line. Walt Disney World offers a great service called Fast Pass Plus, which allows you to pre-book your fast passes 30 days in advance of your visit to the park. Epcot has 12 different attractions which are available on Fast Pass Plus. And we would urge anyone visiting the park to do research on the different attractions available and which ones would be the most appealing and suitable to your family. It is worth noting that you can only pre-book three rides in advance per day of your visit. However, once you use these fast passes, you can then book more fast passes one at a time on the actual day. It's no secret that small children and even older children and even adults do not like waiting in line. Planning your fast passes in advance gives you the opportunity to get on your favorite must-do attractions without having to wait in line for hours, giving you the opportunity to relax and enjoy the rest of the park without the stress of feeling like you're gonna miss out on certain attractions or having to deal with upset family members. Well, that concludes today's list. Are there any other tips you'd recommend? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for new weekly content.